just uh, James being back out there after after missing a game. Seemed like you you uh, wanted to assert yourself early. Talk a little bit about that. Uh, yeah, I was so excited to get back out there. It was so hard uh, to sit out, especially against Wisconsin, since they're the top team. So coming in, um, I worked hard to on the defensive things and things that I didn't know to get back into it, and uh, that helped me get going from right off tonight. Next question. Troy and Yogi, for both of you guys, last year you guys had trouble winning close games. This year it seems like you're coming out on top more often than not. What's What's been the difference in that? I say the difference has been um, mindset. Uh, our mental mindset going into um, a close game like that is just we got to get a stop and whatever's necessary to get it, we're going to get it. We go out there and we fight for each other and we fight for the team and we come out with the outcome we want. Um, last year, I mean, those moments at the time of the game, I wasn't in the game. <laughs> so apparently I got a uh, trust in this with him now to finish out the plays and do the right thing on defense and do the right thing on offense. So, I mean, he got all those people in at the end of the game that, that will do that for him or do that for us. And, I mean, we're just happy that it's changed this year. Zach? Are there moments, Yogi, where you, you look at, maybe not in the game, but even if you're feeling, uh, watching film after where you look at it and you say, Maybe we don't make that play late a year ago. Maybe we don't make that shot or, or get that stop. I mean, just moments where maybe you, you can see tangibly this team being more mature down the stretch and tight game. Yeah, I say the biggest thing from last year to this year is making more simpler plays, not trying to make the home run play, um, driving in, just hitting the open guy, not trying to throw a crazy like behind the back pass. Uh, we can throw a pass to another pass for a shot. We call it Indiana assists. So, I mean, that's just basically doing whatever uh, to help the team win. You guys, you guys are only out without James Wolverine, but how much easier is it when he's in the lineup having another shot make that work for him? Uh, yeah, that's just another guy they have to guard. Um, we definitely miss James in Wisconsin because that would have opened the floor more for our drives, for our guards. And I say uh, he definitely helped us in this game. What went so well for you after halftime? 14 points, no turnovers. How comfortable were, were you feeling? And what was going so well? Uh, I said what was going was the short, uh, the short alley. I uh, just stayed in there, kept moving, got back cuts, uh, got dunks off of it, got fouled a couple times. And I mean, I guess it got comfortable after I got the steal and then kicked it to Rob for the three pointer and a uh, fast break. So after that, I guess it just got comfortable. Um, Yogi, what does it mean for you guys just to have Hunter back? I know we didn't play a ton tonight, but just having his presence, having his length, I mean, what does that do for you guys moving forward? Uh, for us moving forward, uh, he's got to get back in shape. Uh, he's got to get back in game shape. Uh, I know he played a couple stretches tonight. But, um, yeah, he's definitely going to help us. We need that big body down there. And Hunter started off the Big Ten season really great, especially he helped us in the wins at um, Illinois and Nebraska. So to have him back, uh, we're going to need him. Just the significance of getting back on the winning track, how, how key was that? Uh, I mean, it builds everybody's confidence. You know? uh, some people will like break down or whatever, but we just stay with it in practice and we stay with it on the court and off the court, and the winning shoot just feels better. For any of you guys, I know you, you talk about not looking too big picture during the season, but this sort of middle six game stretch of the Big Ten play was particularly rough on you, especially with the road games you have. I know you've still got Maryland, but do you feel like kind of coming through this, you guys have, I guess, played well enough to move through this to maybe an easier part to end, part of the schedule to end Big Ten play? Yeah, I say, I mean, these last couple games we have is basically going to define who we are. So that's where teams get made, basically, and go on from then on. So the last couple stretches, we got to have the best focus we've had all year, the last couple weeks. So. That's all, that's all we're going to be talking about. Every game we play here on now is a championship game. Every possession is a championship possession. So once we get those and win those games, then eventually we'll be in the championship game. Jeff? Yeah, for you, just kind of follow up on that. Based upon preseason expectations to now, you guys are sitting either second or third, depending on how other games play. So what's it like to be in this position as we head toward late January? Uh, yeah, we didn't really look too much into the um, – you know, where everybody picked us. They picked us low in the Big Ten. Um, so expectations were high, and that just gave us a little bit extra uh, chip on our shoulder. I say to go out there and prove everybody wrong. Why do you think you guys have to prove people wrong? Because um, they, they don't know us. 
<laughs> they get ready to find out. Anything else for the guys? All right, thank you. So.